Hi, and welcome to another marketing tip. I've got Sarah Stein from Miss Efficiency with me. How are you doing, Sarah? Yeah, excellent. Thank you for having me. Uh, no worries. Thanks for coming along. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your firm, please. Uh, so my business is Miss Efficiency. We've been around in Brisbane for about 20 years. Uh, lots of lots of things have changed in that time, obviously technology and um, legislation. Um, so where we're at the moment is we are a team of seven. We all work from home. We're across four states and we work uh, with zero clients. And uh, we've just launched a couple of new websites with Matt and his team, who are awesome. Uh, Miss Efficiency Payroll, which is just a standalone payroll advisory service, and also bookkeeping for accountants. So we've identified a, a bit of a niche where bookkeepers and accountants can work really well and a little bit differently together. Awesome. Hey, thanks for sharing. So tell me about your number one marketing tip, please. Uh, so my number one marketing tip uh, at the moment, uh, it actually came from one of Matt's webinars that he did recently, and it was about asking for a recommendation. And, you know, I kind of did it, but a little bit softly because, you know, I didn't want to be a burden and, you know, I didn't really get too much traction. But when I actually went out and asked, like I'm asking for a favour, I was, which I did recently, um, I was blown away by the amount of almost immediate responses that I got back of people jumping in and putting awesome um, reviews on, on Google for us. So it got me thinking, like, I'm in front of my clients regularly, and they regularly tell us, you know, that they're really happy, but sometimes there's that little bit of friction or, um, you know, it's not always so convenient or top of mind to go and do a recommendation. So what we've done is... Matt said, you know, ask people regularly for the recommendations and you might need to ask them two or three times before they think, oh, yeah, I've got to actually do that. And then they'll go and do it. So we use Carbon for our workflow and we have a very comprehensive system for our end of month. So we've just factored it into our workflow. So the very last thing, uh, well, the second to last thing is sending their BAS and their reports off. And then the very last thing in the workflow is integrated into the workflow and it's sending them a templated email asking them for a re recommendation, sends them straight to the link. And what we do, because we don't want them to be bombarded with everything all at once, so we don't want it to get lost with the BAS. So we will schedule that email to go out in a week's time saying, hey, your BAS is done, everything's um, all good. We'd really love it if you sent through a recommendation. Here's the link. And, um, and then, and, and because it's in our workflow and we can schedule it, we don't have to think it think about it again and it just rolls around and there is a little bit of uh checking at our end I suppose because we don't want to automatically send that out next quarter if they've already done the review so we need to make sure so we've written um processes into our procedure to make sure that we're not asking them for it again and we'll swap it out if they've given us a google review next time we'll ask them for a linkedin recommendation um, and yeah, just keeping it keeping it a little bit different. So it means that it's part of our process, so we don't have to think about doing it. And um, yeah, and it, it seems to be working really, really well. Awesome, that's great to hear. And I think most firms, if they did that, they're probably sitting on all the new leads that they need. Yeah, um, it, it's you, um, and and yeah, making it part of your system like you did. I think that's the that's the key to it. It's got to be frictionless like you say yes yeah awesome hey appreciate you sharing that sir not a problem